What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me here on Revisiting Fight Night Champion. My name is Von Allen. And we're going to get into my legacy. Um, so I didn't want to start. Sometimes I'll start a, a season or a legacy or whatnot um, and start the show or, or my broadcast halfway through um, and doing videos halfway through. But I wanted to start at the beginning because of uh one special reason and that is because oh wait von allen is um it's me man and yeah it's crazy like With uh, PlayStation and Xbox on uh, the th PS3 and 360, they had a really cool. Um... Wait, I gotta exit this. So I did start one. I didn't start the stream over because this was like too much pausing. Von Allen too. All right, so I um I did start a guy, but <clears throat> it wasn't all documented. So we're just gonna go into um we're gonna go into this and we're gonna start from scratch. And yeah, this is the amateur tournament I'm trying to win. Let's see if I can get a knockout in, a, in the amateur tournament because it it gets uh. It gets hard. Like as far as the amateur boxing, you can't. It's harder to knock people out. But um, we'll see if I can. If I can uh, get a knockout. So yeah, I wonder if the amateur fighters that you fight transfer over to um, your pro career. So anybody that you fight as an amateur. You fight as a right, pro gentlemen. as well. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. So yeah, that's me. I mean, I look, I look sh strikingly close to like that. But, like my like lips are bigger, like upper lips and like upper lips bigger, and it's got this weird like pointy nose. But other than that, uh, I mean, it looks just like me, and so that's why I wanted to document all of it because it's like. The interesting thing about fight night is you do fight, you have a legacy, and you have a win-loss record, that's, um, and it's one-on-one, -on -one, so you might fight a guy in your amateur career that beats you, and you can get that revenge later on, whereas, like, other sports games aren't necessarily like that. Um, so I don't 
don't have volume here. I'd like a little bit of volume. I'm trying to play with one hand right now. Oh. Look at that. He knows it too. Damn, I was getting popped at the end. That's alright. So yeah, being able to keep track of um, the dudes that I, I've beat and had, um, I don't think that you can go and look at your your overall records on the main screen, but you can't go back and see all the dudes you fought, so you got to keep track in your own mind, like, all right, you fought this dude three times, there's no reason to go and fight him a fourth time, because sometimes they'll run out of, like, competition for you. Um, I'm also starting out as a lightweight feel like when I was younger, if I'd have started fighting, I would have probably fought there. Because I feel like my natural weight's are about 150. So to, to, to be younger and fight at 135 or 140 um, was realistic. And they don't have the junior weight classes in this game. So... Yeah, I'm peppering him now. I like to throw straight punches. I like to throw straight punches and um well I feel like there's a whole community of Fight Night players right now and um that's what made me, kind of inspired me to pick it up. Um, in a second, I'll look up the Facebook group that they have. And um, yeah, a group of guys that just are, are are hardcore with it. And I don't necessarily know if I can get as hardcore as they do. Um, but it seems like a fun hobby. And it's also a fun community to be a part of because it's kind of a... Um, Trying to find. Wow, so Facebook, of course, man, like always, whenever I'm trying to do something on when I'm streaming. Um, fight Reacts. It's called Fight Reacts. Fight Night Champion Doghouse. Doghouse Championship or something like that. And, uh, yeah, those dudes get on and they, they talk hella shit and fight. And I don't know if I'm going to get to that point where I'm, uh... But I do want to, uh... Maybe get on and be cool, like, make better relationships with some of those guys because it is a fun game and um i don't know if i want to be going and getting involved in any title fights with those guys but you know i'll spar with them and stuff because it's like i used to play with my boy for hours me and him would sit and just smoke blunts and play fight night for hours and so i was really good at this game at some point when basically the only person that i ever met that could beat me was him but then i sat it down for several years and only played sp sparingly and while i can still play pretty good like i used to be able to i'd have knocked this dude out back in the day it's just like i don't and i also have gotten out of rhythm with throwing power punches because you have to push a button to throw a power punch so it's like I usually just win decisions because I'm move. not like, um, so hopefully I won that because I don't feel like I was paying attention. Don't give it to the red. Oh, okay. So from now on, I'm paying way more attention because I was like nervous as fuck uh, being on here. So it's like doghouse something. I'm trying to find my groups right, but then like. So I landed them. I'd like to see punches per round because I want to get away from throwing 100 punches per round. Like I want to throw around 60 to 80, you know, and like it seems like no matter what I do, I throw 100 punches around. And in my um, 
in my opinion, like, in my opinion, like, um, it's a special fighter, like a high volume fighter that throws 100 punches around, not like the average boxer. So, uh, trying to figure out my defense so my defense is better. Otherwise, I gotta throw punches. And if you look at the power down at the bottom, the second from the uh, second from last, my power punches are zero because I don't hold the trigger and throw punches. So I'm just throwing hooks, uppercuts, um, just regular power. I'm not throwing any like haymakers. So. And I know the old school haymaker, you could cock the controller back. And I think that was a better, that was a lot more fun. Um, plus, it, it represented what was always so cool about Fight Night is it represented throwing a real punch rather than button mashing. So it's like now you're going back to button mashing by making me throw my power punch by clicking my the, the right joystick. So, um, whatever. All right. So that was Jones. We're going to fight this cat, Carbonal. Or don't know exactly. Do they do entrances for... Um... Do they do entrances for, for the amateur tournament? Or you just end up straight in the ring off the top, out, right out the gate? Miguel Cotto versus Ricky Hatton. Arturo Gotti versus Ricky Hatton. That was something that I wanted to see. I know we Ricky Hatton or Arturo room. Gotti was done Let's at that point, but fight. Touch them up. shit would have been hype. Rather than him going out to Alfonso Gomez. Uh, even though that's putting Alfonso Gomez over. So, right now... I need to just work off the jab. I'm trying to throw some off. Uh, that was a power uppercut. All right, I want to check something really quick. I feel like he could have took that round. So 77 punches and I threw four power punches, but I feel like I threw like 20. I was holding the right trigger down a lot more, but I guess they weren't getting through. I wasn't even throwing them. They ended up just being wild hooks or uppercuts, maybe. I don't know.
it goes. Ah, uh, yeah, it's alright. Could come back in and get caught with that right again. Alright. You gotta pick it up, alright? This is it. One more round. Popping Double jab, straight cross. One, two. Yeah, I think I was, I think I was getting him that round. He was landing some shots though. Honorable effort on his part. Wait till I like. So what is that doing? 77, 68. So 210 total in three rounds. That's not bad. I mean, that's the way I want to go. And if you look the first round, do some power shots. I think I tried <laughs> just one the second round, and then I don't throw any power shots. So, um, yeah, I need to step that up for sure. But, at, um, but yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Cruise through the championship to the championship there's no way that anybody they're gonna put in my way is gonna be able to stop me for sure so we're taking on Duncan trying to get a knockout I'm trying to get a knockout though in uh the championship fight or this fight, I got to get a knockout on one of these to s solidify or I need to like, I'm already going to be fighter of the tournament now I need to be there's like three awards they give out, like fight of the tournament, knockout of the tournament. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Or Let's something have a good like clean that. Fight. Fighter of the tournament, knockout of the tournament, yeah. fight of the tournament.
listen. I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, parry it away and you'll catch him. Okay, you got that? It's going to happen. Go catch him, I so that group, um, I feel like I, I worked him out. I, wor I worked him that round for sure. Um, Fight Night, FNC Doghouse. If you guys want to check that out, FNC Fight Night Champion, FNC FNC Doghouse. Um, you know, request to be added to that group. Um, the admin Fight Reacts. He's a real cool dude. They do a little bit of a podcast or something. I know one episode they were talking about. Um, They were talking about um, you know why there hasn't been a new fight night in a while. It's hard to get a knockout. And the reason it's hard to get a knockout in this uh, was because um, You don't have a lot of strength or like attributes at this point. And you're fighting two minutes, so you get a guy hurt, you gotta kinda finish him, hurry up. And like I said, I haven't been playing this in a while, so I'm like, I am an amateur at this shit, I suppose. Or I might be a shot fighter, you know, retired, trying to come back. We're gonna find out with my career, my legacy. This is my legacy, legacy. Shout out to Eminem, man. I went through listening to some Eminem today. Listen to a, a concert he did for um, maybe the Hip Hop Hall of Fame or something. Well, uh, Black Thought and Eminem did Rock the Bells. Um, as they, you know, these celebrities, you know, they, they had move, current baby. artists or whatever now, perform. I think it was like Hip Hop Honors, maybe. I know Eminem did um, Run DMC back in the day, if I'm not mistaken, too. But he, I know he said often that his his favorite of all time is LL Cool J, or something like that. Like LL was his hero, not hero, but his favorite rapper. Fuck it. I might be wrong about that, don't quote me. proud of myself for that because I feel like I, I cannot and these amateur fights cannot get a knockdown like it gets super hard so the d-pad is uh, switch up stance I don't think that the knockdowns matter in amateur boxing in this game or in real life. Um, yeah, it worked hard. I don't know. That last round, I probably threw yeah, about 80. That's probably where I'd like to stay. But you'll see in the 12 round or like in, in, in three three minute rounds. I mean, that's another. At least another 20 punches. Um, Titus Duncan. I gotta look back at the other guys' names. But no power punches again. Um, man, if I learn to throw those power punches, which I, I should work on, I will be um, getting a little bit more, having a little bit more success with uh, 
you know, hurting guys. So let's get it. Let's practice. And I believe it's like right trigger. Hit the right trigger. But it's hard because... Um, R1, R1 is, uh, R1 is blocked, have a good clean fight. and then R2, so Touch it's like up. you have to be coordinated with the middle finger and index fingers and again I ain't even playing video games like that to be that coordinated with my fingers. This dude's big as hell. This one is expected to be a thriller. Oh cross block. Warriors last fight has given a lot of folks confidence that he's gonna roll through his opponent tonight. You remember he had that decision win. Yeah the benefit to that is going rounds. The more rounds you go the more sure yourself you become the more time you get to practice things, and obviously it shows up. They're expecting it to show up tonight. To the power punch there. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Another one. Good step back. There we go. There. Beautiful. Let's move. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Lane. Double jab by Allen. Blocks a shot and then What's lands up? an uppercut Come of his on, own. Sucker. Southpaw in the ring tonight going up against a traditional orthodox right-handed fighter. So many times we hear about the footwork, Teddy. Explain the footwork in a matchup like this. Well, what you want to do usually traditionally, if you're the orthodox fighter, you want to take your left foot, your lead foot, and keep it so, outside the lead foot of the southpaw, his right foot, and step to your left a little bit. Take away his power punch, his left hand, and get a little better angle for your jab. No effort, okay? This is your fight. Carry it away, you'll catch him. You got that? Uh, throw him in there. It's gonna happen. Yeah. You're gonna catch him. You're gonna catch Keep those hands. So I gotta set this dude go. over this guy. Round two is underway. A headshot block. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Allen. Lane's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, counter punch. Boxing 101. Counter punching. You got a guy coming at you? No better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Doubles up the jab. A little head hunting with the right. Not pleased with that round. Not that I feel like I lost or anything, but um, he didn't overwhelm his guy with a quantity of punches, but just feel like I was uh sloppy. Yeah, you're right. You know, a lot of times people think that the muscles that count the most in any sport, and especially in this sport, such a difficult sport. Is, you know, the biceps, the physical things that you see, you know, the chest, the Don't back, you know, Jab this guy's got the strong muscle up top, you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain, and that's why he's picking He's dropping knowledge on here, though, Teddy Atlas. Him, serving him to win this fight right now. Good combination, punching by Allen. Oh, this is why it's awkward, though. It's because my, uh, he's a southpaw. What the fuck? 
Viking Warriors well off the mark that time. Blaine's in a go. bad spot right now. He's Once I realize that shit. Oh, that was a smart was move over. right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt. He should have taken a little step back and not allowed him to grab. Fuck you, Teddy. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Right back to the work up top. Lane's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. He needs to adjust a little further out. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Ten seconds to go in this round. Wow, he backs up the combination, landed all four of them. Man, fuck that game. And this round comes to an end. Oh, I got one more round. What do we fight? Four rounds in the, the that's You need to capitalize on his mistakes, okay? I want to see that town of her. Make him pay for his mistakes. You ain't about to do shit. I'm about to take you out this round. The final round. Here they go. Comes right back with some offense of his own. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Allen. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Doubling up the jab now. Lane missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. So dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. A stinging uppercut by Allen. A destructive right hand by Viking Warrior. Lane's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away. What the fuck is he one. doing right now? I started celebrating this shit, my finger slipped off the thing. <laughs> Last 10 seconds of the fight. Nice job doubling up the jab by Allen. Wow. A consistently strong performance tonight. You don't have to be a casualist major to score this one. Just put those so, I had him hurting and my and finger slipped off the thing and smacked on the D-pad and made me do a, a, a taunt, so... Um, might have been able to finish him. Probably, I mean, he probably wasn't gonna get finished. He probably just got knocked down. But overall, dominating, dominating victory. On to the next one. Allen's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for, and it's exactly Von Allen win by for. decision. Good, Let's see what my punch decision. stats were. So 80, 83. Shutout right now. Round four, so we did go to a fourth round. I was wondering what the hell was going on. Um, and then I punched a hundred times with that was because I had him hurt. And then at the end, after I had him hurt, I tried to like catch up and and get um try to get in there. So yeah. Punched myself out at the end, and then uh, fight totals five power punches to his 67. Um, still a dominating victory. Um, just imagine if I was throwing some power punches. So I'm gonna have to keep working on that shit. And um, amateur tournament champ, advance to the tournament results. There we go. There we go, Von Allen. Man, I look like that, I swear. Cassius Lane. Titus Duncan. Man, I beat... I feel like I beat that dude. <laughs> Be little. Bubba Little. Um, Alright. So, fighter of the tournament... I always want to get fight of the tournament, but I feel like that that requires guys to get um, 
Oh, and then I didn't even get to see the last one because I hit advance. That's terrible. Fighter of the tournament, then it was going to be. I would probably have won the third one. I just can't remember what it was. But when I did the other, my career, my legacy, um, it did have uh, a third one, and I did win it, but I don't know what it was. Number one prospect or something like that. All right, so I got a message that says, let's get started. Let's get it started. It's going to be the greatest all time. You have to train hard. Sacrifice everything to be the best. Remember, kid, no one can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. All right. All right, coach. I'll delete that. Keep my inbox in nice and clean. Schedule a fight. All right. Let's schedule a fight. First fight. Any of the guys that I fought in amateurs? There's no. It's just all the, none of those guys are going pro apparently. Maybe Victor Flores was in there. Let me do a little research really quick. Look back on my... Uh, Bert Diaz and Cosmo Corval. So this Pearson Jones, Little Diaz, Stewart, Duncan. None of those guys. So I'm ranked 46. Anybody else debuting, you know what I mean? Like, all these dudes got, like, 20 fights and shit. Can I get another O and O guy? Or am I just going for the money? I'm going to just fight Victor Flores. I'm going to train at home for my first couple fights. And so, January 2011, now that you schedule your first fight, it's time to train. Training isn't all about hitting the gym, though. You will need to keep constant eye on your current stamina, manage your time between training skills and athleticism, improving popularity through promo events, and taking part in sparring invites. Each action takes its toll on stamina, so be sure to rest the week leading up to your fight so that you have a full tank of gas. Alright, we'll do that. Let's train, man. Well, let me get... I just want to look at my gear, but what, what, let's just train first. Let's just train. Um... Let's see, skills training. As your primary training type, you'll be able to earn experience points, XP, during these interactive training games. Also, you earn small bonuses to athleticism. Athletic training. This secondary training type has non-interactive programs that will boost your athleticism if you're falling behind. Okay. So, I guess I need to do... I forget how um, how this works. So I got the week of the 17th, the 24th, the 31st, and the 7th. And so I've got to, and also these take, let's 
It's like one of them takes 30% of your shit, so you can go two of those. We'll do sparring, though, just for, uh... Current athleticism. So use 50% of your stamina. So you can only do one of these or you'll drain all the way down to zero. And then you can't work your third week and then you can't work your fourth week. So you could do like one of these and two of the other ones and then rest that third week. But you only want to get down to... Um, you only want to get down to like 80 because... Um, You only want to get down to 80 because they will make a... Uh, because... Or you only want to get down to 20 that last week because it only recharges you 80%. So if you're down to 100, then you have to go into your fight at 80%. If that makes sense. If training you only want to go down as low as 20 percent because um sorry <laughs> training you only want to go down to 20 percent because 20 percent is um Let's get there. Pick it up, pick it up. You want to see more bounce in those legs? Keep hitting that back, kids. Keep moving. Oh, gotta get there. zones in a row okay so I got a boost in all of that so what I was trying to say is um damn I didn't get champion that's fucked up I need 50 more five more thousand that's fucking bullshit so see the current current stamina bar is at 50 percent so if I go to train and do another one of those I'm gonna be down to zero so I'm going to have to use two weeks to get to 100% because a rest week only recharges you 80%. That makes sense. I'm not saying it again because that shit's confusing me as well. Um, required stamina. So there, 30% is going to bring me down. Oh, I'm at 50. It's going bring to me, bring me down to 20. So that's going to bring me down to 30. And then I do one more training. 10% for my speed. And that's just a little light athletic training. I'll do this a little 10% train. Now I'm 20. And then I should, if if I remember correctly, hit the rest week. Regain 80% of your stamina. Boom. Back to 100. Go to my boxer. Edit my boxer. Now I earned points and stuff from the last fight. I'm going to save them for my second fight. 
and see how far I can get before it gets tough. Maybe I should take all my amateur points though. Now let's go. Let's fight amateur me. Amateur me has to uh Yeah, you got the blue trunks. Okay. Alright. That's good. Discard changes and continue. That's fine. Alright. So I'm geared up. And we're going into my first fight. Forget the cat's name. Maybe we'll see. I don't know if I should throw up some music or something. Like I said, check out uh, FNC Doghouse. Oh, wow, no entrances. Just a gym fight. So I guess we don't get no love. My little soft body there. I feel like I get an opportunity to really throw some punches now. Don't really know what to expect. Um, I didn't check out the details of my fight. That's silly me. I should have. I got long hair now, but when I was 19 and 20, I did have short hair. Or probably not. I had a. Uh, yeah, I had short hair. I had long hair when I was 18. Cut that shit off for a job. Funny man, my homeboy had to tell me to cut my hair because they wouldn't hire me if I had braids. That's why when people talk about like this discrimination or like the transgender movement and all that stuff, I'm like, man, I, I couldn't have braids growing up where I grew up. I couldn't have a... Uh, Just be stinging cats with the jab. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was that was fucking amazing. If I was streaming this through um If I was streaming this through OBS, I would be able to put like a side-by-side -side picture of me up. But um, if you go follow me at Social Walter all over the all over the internet, um, I mean social media, follow me at Social Walter and uh, yeah, you can you you'll see that I look identical to my guy. Uh, and then I did that through like capturing a picture through the, with the PlayStation camera. Use Game Store. They had like ten. Uh, PlayStation 3 cameras and like I'm not it, it was crazy man like $20 for the PS3 camera oh, working his body don't come near me Alright. 
I got you hurt though, and I'm still amateur. I still got my amateur weight. I ain't done anything but a little work in the gym. I ain't putting no muscle on. have what it takes to become a multi-division champion of the world that is the tagline or the uh, headline cover photo on the cover photo of fight night champion doghouse facebook page fnc doghouse facebook page Call me a little jazz, call me a little Russian hook. Oh, caught me. Huh. Hurt that body. That's why you hugging me. Alright. That's enough. You got like 11 fights in my first fight. Hit me with that. Woo! That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. Much better. Much How better. many is it scheduled for, though? That's what I'm curious about.
I gotta stop throwing those punches when no one's near me. Kind of blowing my energy. He's got more stamina than me for sure. Um, but I know we're only fighting. This is five rounds. How many rounds are we fighting? Can't be a ten round fight. I need to take a round off. I need to get some work done, but I gotta take it off. That's my round. do my uh, double end bag treatment training I mean the training I just went to where I just rotate and swing man it's not a five round fight I've got nothing left. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you swinging like that? Nice to get a knockdown in your pro debut for sure.
I already won the round, so I don't gotta do shit. I'm about to gas myself out in case there's another round. I already punched it. There we go. That's it. We made it to round six. Could have finished them off if I had a little bit more speed and power and whatnot. But that just means watch out. When I get my stats up, it's over. And round five worked out for me. I, I feel like I took it off a little bit. We'll see. But pitch the shutout. 100 punches around. 90, 100 punches, 100 punches, 100 punches. 90 was the lowest, and that was round five where I feel like I tried to take off. And then 88 was round six, which was another good round where I was playing a little bit of possum, but still 90. Um, so there you go. Fight totals for the first fight. And that's it. 289 to 144. Zero power punches once again, man. If I could get that shit together, there's no telling. Oh, fight challenges. What the heck? Okay. If I can get a knockout by round four. But then I knocked him down in round six. Shit. I didn't even see a fight challenge. So I, gotta, I, I bet it's in my messages. So I have to make sure I slow down, check my messages. Don't jump too quick. Fight challenges. There you go. All right, so nineteen. We got twelve hundred, a little over twelve hundred. Um, XP points, four thousand seven hundred five fifty dollars to my name. Ranked four hundred eighteenth pound for pound, and I'm the forty fourth ranked lightweight in the world. Go to check to my boxer, hit my growth, and uh, you know, not saying I'm trying to retire undefeated or anything. Um, but I just want to stiffen up my jab a little bit. The hooks to the head will probably be next. Get me up to those the first set of stars. I don't know if in future episodes I'll, I'll, I'll give you a peek into my... I don't want you to see what I got going on with my um, attributes. Because... I don't know. Maybe you just want to watch the fight. And I don't really need to edit anything though. So
discard changes and continue. So, at the prospect level, 1 0. Um, yeah, man. My legacy progress. Let's look at that. Nothing, right? Total jabs, 154 jabs. Straights. And zero power punches. I'm near 50%. Total, total head and body punches. Yeah, I'm near 50%. So yeah. I want to stay. I want to stay in that range. Be an accurate puncher. Um, what else is in my legacy? My fight history. So they do have all the names. All right. I remember. I thought you had to kind of keep track of that. Um, maybe it was in the last fight night or something where it's like you fight a dude and you're like, man, I already fought you three times. But they keep putting him in front of you or dudes will call you out and you're like, I already beat you three times. I don't know why you would want to put yourself in that position but retired boxers none none yet all right so let's schedule a fight I don't know where that first fight was but I'm gonna just fight anybody they bring into Windy City boxing how about that? Then it's like I'll fight in Detroit. And then once I get, uh, man, I get a big opportunity or something, maybe I'll fight. Uh. So, in May 18th, fighting six rounds for $3,000 to Bertrand Boyd. can't afford a camp right so it's like then wherever i uh all those spots over there right like the the home gym philly detroit i feel like those are places i'll also be able to fight so i'll try to make some kind of realisticness to it you know like i don't want to just be fighting all over the world until i get to the point where i'm making that much money till then just fight chicago and detroit places that within driving distance All right, upcoming fight. Make sure you tune into the next episode to see how that goes down. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, uh, hit me up in the comment section. Just tell me what you think. What you think about a new when when a new fight night is coming out? Uh, what you'd like to see in a new fight night? Um, do you think there could be a, a third party company and a different company come out with a boxing game? Uh, that you liked or does it have to be EA um, and yeah just let me know if um, yeah you liked the video what you liked what you want to see and give me a thumbs up and also hit the bell icon to get your notifications so you know when I post a new video um, until next time it's your boy Social Walter I'm going to sign out for now Love all over the world.